I first met Carolyn almost 50 years ago, and I remember it distinctly. We were freshmen at college. She lived across the hall from me at Estelle, and I was in my room reading my history book before classes even started, and my roommate was popping popcorn. And all of a sudden, this rather tall girl threw open the door and said, I smell popcorn. <laughs> and that's how I first met Carolyn. And I think my first impression was, my goodness, she's bold. <laughs> she didn't even knock. Carolyn has a very high energy level and it's an absolute joy to work with. Not only does she like to achieve significant results, she likes to have fun in the process. When I first met Carolyn, what impressed me the most was her positive attitude and her energy. You know, I like to surround myself with people that have that kind of dynamic going on because it brings everybody else up. Um, and she just has the, the most upbeat, can-do attitude and that's, that really, it really raises the bar for everybody else that's around her. I think uh, in order, one of the things, in order to be successful, that you need to have passion in everything you do. And you ought to so be willing to take risk. Roll the dice, uh, be willing to, you know, life is a game and play to win. She's able to easily see the opportunities and assess uh, the best way to achieve significant results. Uh, she is very driven uh, in that regard and doesn't settle for anything less uh, than the best results. As I've gotten to know Carolyn more over the last few years, you know, what I realize is how successful she is as a businesswoman. Um, she has grown a business from a small $5,000 investment into where she now owns three different businesses. One of the top business women in the state of Texas and nationally. I love to build things and I love to watch things grow. And I started uh, in a 200 square foot portable building. And now we have over 200,000 square feet of warehouse office space. And I drive down memory lane and I, I just think, wow, and we're still growing. I, I, I love watching, uh, you know, employing people and I drive up and I see they have a new car and they're getting a new house and I think, yes. You know, it makes, it makes me feel like I'm a part of something good. I think the attribute Carolyn has uh, is rather cliche. It's hard work and that's Carolyn. She works so hard, whether it's her business, whether it's her charity work, her foundation, which she started, um, she puts so much into everything she does. Fundraising, even for Sam Houston. Uh, she gives 100% and she does an excellent job and uh, she just never gives up. I'm a touchy-feely person. I like to see the look on people's faces. That makes you feel good. I like to see if I'm uh, making a difference. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I go, what can I do today to make somebody smile? So I said, heck, I uh, called us. I want to open a foundation to help uh, kids with, with illnesses in the hospitals and, and homeless shelters. Uh, we're partnering with the Shriners Burns Institute next week and having Christmas in August, providing them with book bags and Santa Claus and we'll have Christmas carols by the Salvation Army Harbor Lights Choir and face painting and toys. We just had a, uh, we wrapped uh, over a thousand toys to be given out. So that makes me feel good. I mean, when you get up in the morning and you've helped somebody the, of the less fortunate. It keeps you grounded, keeps you grateful and humble. And you feel good at night when you go to sleep. Carolyn takes on anything with an expectation of success. And so anytime you're working with her, you better expect to, to succeed and work hard on it because she's going to do that. And one example is she has really made a difference in our connection with some alums in the Houston area by instigating the Bearcats in Business, which now is an event that raises over $200,000 a year. Sam Houston is very important to me for me to continue to support it because I want to be a part of their future. It just, when I went back to campus after 40 years, I was so proud and now I understand they have 20,000 enrollment. I mean, Sam Houston's on the map. Everybody takes ownership in that school, even the students and they make it the best it can be. And I want to be a part of, everybody wants to be a part of success. Sam Houston is very successful and they're just getting started.